Her disembodied face emerges from total blackness. Strands of synthetic hair explode like fireworks. Andy Warhol, in his peroxide fright wig. Six self-portraits. Pink, pale blue, lilac, orange, green, cobalt. A rare masterpiece, completed just months before his sudden death. I paint pictures to remind myself that I'm still around, Warhol once said. Throughout his life, Warhol took on the grand tradition of self-portraiture, like Rembrandt, Van Gogh, and Corbet before him. He painted his own image to declare his own existence. Each new self-portrait was a reincarnation. In images from the 1960s, he adopts a mugshot pose, Warhol as most wanted, trying fame on for size. In his 66-67 series of self-portraits, he appears elusive, partially hidden by his hand. Facial features dissolve into patterns of layered color. Warhol's neon Frightwig self-portraits of 1986 are his final expression of self. The inscrutable persona he presented to the world, created and consumed by the Polaroid flash. And then I said, every, every 15 minutes, someone will be famous. Aged only 57, it was as if he had a premonition of his own death, even before Warhol's near-fatal shooting by Valerie Solanas in 1968. Warhol was fascinated by death and disaster. Car crashes, electric chairs, the atomic bomb, and always finding beauty in the darkest hour. In six self-portraits, the artist stares out, up front and direct. His face is skull-like, a kind of death mask, a memento mori, Warhol's definitive self-image. If you want to know about Andy Warhol, then just look at the surface of my pictures. And there I am, he said.